Then linking Bella's sexual appetite with an appetite for food, and then emphasizing the hazards of satiating that appetite from within a female body, the Twilight series purports a logic that deplores the natural female form and mobilizes that hatred by advocating for masculine dominance over women's appetites and desires. Like her sexual appetite, the Twilight series also frames Bella's literal appetite as requiring male control. Like the anorexic sufferer, Bella's eating habits become what Bordeaux describes as, quote, a vehicle for expression, end quote, in Meyer's novels. Bella often feels immense anxiety and inadequacy in her relationship with Edward and seems to respond to that anxiety by restricting her food consumption, which allows her to gain a degree of control while remaining within the confines of acceptable female behavior. In the scenes in which Bella does eat in the series, she feels ashamed and is shamed for her consumption. For instance, when Bella becomes pregnant, her appetite grows along with her body. She begins to literally exemplify the monstrosity of female hunger as she starts to crave human blood. When she is fed blood for the first time by friendly vampire Rosalie, Bella admits how much she likes it, all the while appearing, quote, apologetic, pleasing, scared, end quote. Bella's facial expressions and slumped body in this scene characterize her hunger, or to be more precise, her thirst, as both shameful and embarrassing. Here, as a pregnant and hungry woman, Bella regresses to a primitive state marked by her bodily functions, lack of personal control, and dependency on others. Her increasingly voracious appetite, like her soft female body and volatile sexuality, works to equate her character with the abject realm of the body and exemplify the horrors of female embodiment. Only by reaching a realm of transcendence above her body's materiality can Bella gain complete control over herself and her destiny and ultimately emerge as the post-feminist superwoman she always longed to be. So, upon transforming into a vampire in the fourth novel of the Twilight series, Bella's character shifts from representing the abject realm of the body to the privileged realm of the mind. In accordance with anorexic logic, by sacrificing her female flesh, Bella is able to use her mind to dominate all aspects of herself, including her appearance, abilities, and desires. And this is um, when she's pregnant and she's sort of starting to go through the transformation um, into vampire shortly after this. And obviously you can see that she's uh, extremely dangerously thin in this image as she is in the books.